There you have it. 99 Ram 1500, 5.2 liter. We got an issue here with the whole uh, issue of it died. I'll try to run, which I'll show you right now. And my assumption is the idle air control valve. Let's crack her up here. Let's give her some throttle. Yep, that's what happens. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go to AutoZone and get a new one. And I'll clean this one, one of the two. And, uh, yeah, put the new part in. And that should fix your problem, so that y'all would know. So we'll, we'll find out together. That being said, good. there's a few bolts inside here. And you got a bolt right on the clamp on the neck of the breather and you just pretty much pop that off and it should have phillips heads so we'll find out in a second i'm gonna do boot goof into the shed because it is not a phillips head do that or let's hold jacked up <laughs> uh, let me take this squat here just got me a toolbox for uh I don't know supplies and stuff I'm going to take with me for a, a bike ride this summer. Not, not bicycles, actual motorcycles. Yeah, I'm going to fill it, clean it out a little bit more. Get in here, get my bits, and uh, see what bit it is. Oh, it is indeed fat to T25. It's got to really put your face into it. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, sir. Loose her up. Oh man, tighten her up. What the fuck am I doing? All right, let's get out of the way. There we get it. Let's go. That being said, they are out. This is about to come out. Let me just uh, snaggles. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Stingy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. That's darker than my future. <laughs> I am probably going to try to clean it with uh, some uh, electrical throttle body cleaner or whatever. Let's see what happens with that. Try to have to buy a new one. It's probably stuck because it is like 27 degrees. So, with that being said, that's probably the case here. So, we'll find out. Oh, well, yeah, let's see how good my left hand is. Brand new toolbox. Yeah. Take it, you filthy whore. Yeah. Ah! I don't even know if it's supposed to open or close, so. I can't force it. <laughs> Never force anything. Let's get this side. Ooh, let's bring myself in the face. Alright, uh, I pulled on the little thing and, uh, I don't want to see what this looks like. <laughs> Say it, it found the erection. It, it came out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll put it back on in a minute and see what right, happens. Itself. Don't twist it out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put it back in the truck and see what happens. I think the only part of it was a pain was the band. Whatever. Don't be a pussy. Be like me. Just do it yourself. <laughs> right, let's crank it up and see what happens. Yeah, I screwed it up or I fixed it. <laughs> Cold. All right, hot or cold, but it's all right. So, what did you know? Usually, it happens too when I put it in gear. That's one of the pool. So, look at that. All right, guys, with that being said, that's a 99 Dodge, long bed, doesn't matter, full drive, 5.2 liter, automatic transmission, and it's an idle air control valve. So, you take it out, clean it, you get lucky like me, or, well, it's cold, so obviously I figured that much because I was like, you know, it's gotta be something. It's always a cold mess with something. 
or you just go buy a new one. So, get tools up and close the hood. Oh, man. There we go. That's not going to flap. And we call that job well done. So, if you have this year model, same engine, whatever, just grab you some throttle body air and take printer and just rub one out real fast, guys. And yeah, let me put these tools up and the toolbox I just put on too never fails. That's why I don't buy this shit because every time I do, something else fucks up. Hope you see you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Well, I don't really give a shit. It's up to y'all. <laughs> Uh, my stuff's fixed. I'm happy. Hopefully I can help fix y'all's. Alright. Peace. Hey guys. Times were it's good. I felt a little bit better. I felt a little bit better. And uh, I don't know if you can have a Dodge like this, but where I'm at, like uh, cruising speeds and where I got Dodges in last year, it's like, oh, well, sometimes my Dodge is like, pop, 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 pop. I don't know if you can have that issue too, but I have a substance that that might have fixed it because uh, I'm cruising. So that might have fixed it. I'll let you know later on, but yeah, if I fix that too, I'm like, sweet. <laughs> That'd be like a early uh, alert for like, hey, this is about to go out, which it's done it all summer. So uh, it, was, it was built up with carbon and stuff, and grease and grub. So who knows? Yeah, update. She's doing well. I'm thrilled. That was easy to fix. So yeah, don't be uh, discouraged by that one. Just do everything I did, and I think we'll be a, we'll be a happy camper afterwards. Which I'm a happy camper. I always buy something, do want something to the truck. Oh, this is make better, whatever. And then something else stands up. Today was a fact of that. She was like a toolbox on. I fixed it. Fixed the lock on it. Got it on. Got it mounted on the bed. Then that happens. It's random. Always random. That's whatever. Had myself. I had a professional mechanic. But I'll tell you now, you don't got to be to do something like that. So, with that being said, let's stop wreck. And I'm going to get off here and, yeah, check out my other videos. JK, update. <laughs> the surgeon, yeah, to get rid of that. But whatever. I was used to it before anyways. Truck runs. I'm happy. All right. I'm out for real, guys. Peace.